at any second it's gonna ping off me. Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I don't know if I'm gonna get a chance to wear these bikinis this year. I guess I'll be just wearing them in the back garden for no one to see. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna try them on. Let's go. This is the cutest packaging. Like, it's tropical, it's pastel, it's, I like this a lot. Yes, Shein, beautiful packaging, thumbs up for that. And the first bikini, let's see what I have ordered. Oh. Ooh, is this a choker or a headband? I feel like it'll be way too big for my neck. Or maybe it goes around my waist. I have no idea what this is for. Potentially just high rise at bikini bottoms. And then the top looks like this. I love this pattern. This is really, really cute. I have no idea what this is. I'm gonna very, very quickly go to my order and see what's happening here. So it says that this swimsuit comes with a headband. However, in the picture, the girl is just wearing it like this. So a little wristband or bracelet, if you will. Let's see what it's like as a headband. I don't normally love headbands on me, so I don't feel like I'd want to wear it as a headband. No, not for me. Let's take that back off again. I'm going to wear it as a little bracelet, just like the woman on the image does. And then we're gonna try this on. Okay, so this is what the bikini looks like on. I absolutely love it. I wish it was a tiny, 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 tiny bit bigger um, in these straps because I feel like I need to keep pulling it down a little bit, but only slightly, only slightly. And other than that, I absolutely love it. I really, really like the pattern of it. I like the fit of it. I actually love my little bracelet detail. Of course you can wear it as a headband, but I really, really like it as a little bracelet. The bottoms fit nicely. They're not too tight, but also not loose. And I don't feel like there's too much on show. Uh, they aren't quite as high-waisted as I thought they would be, but they are really, really lovely, really, really comfortable. And yeah, I really like this bikini. Also, didn't realize I'd be filming a bikini video, so excuse my fake tan lines that I have um, along here, but oh well. The cutest packaging. I really feel like Shein deserves a little award for this packaging. It is very, very cute. And this is, okay, it feels like a lot, maybe a swimming costume. Also, some people have commented saying it's not a swimming costume, it's a swimming suit or something like that. I'm just saying in, in the UK, I believe I'm not the only person, we call them swimming costumes, I think. Unless I'm just completely wrong, I'm pretty sure it's a British thing, swimming costumes. So if I say swimming costume throughout this video, I mean swimsuits, but I call them swimming costumes. Anyway, pattern looks cute, design looks cute. I think my torso might be too long for this. It looks a little bit like more square, whereas I'm more elongated. I think. So we'll try it on. We'll see what it looks like. It also does have in there little um, booby pads, which I do enjoy in a swimming costume. I just always feel like if I'm going to the beach, I might get a little bit nippy in more ways than one. I might actually get nippy, you know? So I do very much like having a little bit of uh, protection from the elements of cold weather. Also, this is the swimming costume from the back. So it's got a little low back, high waist around the front, little lacy crisscrossy pattern across the front and then little booby pads and we will see. I feel like it looks like it might be too little, but we'll see, we'll see. Okay, so this is the swimming costume on. I really like it. It definitely fits way better than I thought it would. I genuinely thought it would be way too tight, like pulling on my shoulders or pulling down here fits pretty much perfectly. I actually really, really like it. I love the colour, the blue and the white. It's a really, really lovely pattern. I like the little crisscross detailing in the front and then in the back, as you can see, it is dipped all the way down. Um, it fits really nicely. It feels really, really soft and comfortable. So yes, I really like this swimming costume. Ooh. Okay, this is really different for me. This is kind of out of my comfort zone. So it's a little, um, oh my goodness, what do you call it? Bandeau a little bandeau, but it's got the cutest frills. Would you call this frilly or ruched or something else? <laughs> a little bit out of my comfort zone bandeaus. I'm not always the biggest, biggest fan of them. However, I do love the look of this one thus far. We will see what it's like when it's on. And then the bikini bottoms are the same color. Um, whoa, they are 
barely there. <laughs> Wait, which is the front and the back? This is the... The tag is coming quite literally out of the center. I can't tell whether it goes this way or that way. Oh, well duh, they've got a little um, panty thingy in there, so this way. I really, really pray that I like this because it looks so cute holding it up. I'm just not the biggest fan of bandos on me, but we'll see. We'll step out of my comfort zone and then do something with these. We'll see. Okay, I was really nervous to put this bikini on. I kind of love it, which makes me so, so happy. And I'm so happy that I make these videos and I'm forced to buy bikinis that I might not necessarily choose myself because I would never just buy this for myself. I kind of know, well, I thought I knew what did and didn't suit me, but I think I really, really like this bikini. I love the color. I love that it's a little bit roughly. I love that the bando is quite thick as opposed to super skinny. I think that's what's making me like it quite so much. The bottoms aren't quite as small as I thought they would be. I have nude underwear on, as you can see, um, because of hygiene reasons. I don't always trust the little strip. So I have nude underwear on, which obviously because I'm tanned, isn't the most nude underwear, so you can see it. But yeah, but in the front, definitely aren't as small as I thought they were gonna be. Although in the back, they are pretty much just a thong, so I'm not gonna turn around because I would probably get demonetized. Um, but this is what it looks like from the front. I absolutely adore it. I don't know if I'd have necessarily the confidence to wear the bottoms out, but the top is so cute and I'm kind of obsessed with it. Oh, potentially this is, I ordered like a uh, skirty thingy, I think. A beach cover-up-y thingy, maybe? Oh, that's the most pointless little bit of paper. <gasps> yeah! Do you call it a beach cover-up or a sarong or a little, little skirt? Oh, this is cute! Okay, so this is what it looks like, but it is basically a lovely sheet of material that you can tie round your waist and then you've got a nice little kind of maxi skirt while you're on the beach, a little bit of a beach cover up. It has the most beautiful pattern. I'm re I really, really am a fan of tropical patterns, like anything with leaves. I just kind of love it. So this is beautiful and I'm very excited to try it on. This is the little um, beach cover up sarong type thing. So I'm just gonna try this around me. Oh, wow. Okay, annoyingly, Annoyingly, this is as far out as you can go. I can't zoom this camera out any further, um, but it is way too long for me. It's probably this much longer than I am. So my feet are on the floor and there's probably about this much extra fabric, but I can definitely take a pair of scissors to it. Other than that, I thought it would be a lot more sheer and a lot easier to see my bikini through it. I'm not too sure if it's because the bikini is almost the same color as this, but you definitely can't see through it quite as much as I thought you'd be able to, which is amazing, and would make this the perfect little thing to throw on if you're at the beach, but then you need to go and get something, or if you're going out for the day and you know you're gonna end up down the beach. This is really nice. It also, in a way, makes me think I'm gonna do some like belly dancing or something. I know that is not belly dancing, but it feels very belly dance-esque. Anyway, I really like it. Yes. This pattern, little bit out there, Little bit scary to me. We will, ooh. Ooh, hello. Okay. Wow, these are really out there. <laughs> Not only are they like bright neon kind of colors, um, but they're also animal print. So pretty bold statement, these. But they are very, uh, I'd say, average bikini bottoms, just little pants. And then the bikini top, ooh, fancy. The bikini top is just one side. I actually, I actually really like the look of that. This is what the top looks like. It does have little booby pads in there, a little zip on the front, and also a little clasp, which doesn't really do anything. It's kind of sewn on here. So I mean, I guess if you did it up, maybe it would stop the zip coming down fully. Let's test. Oh, okay. So the uh, clasp doesn't do anything in the way of holding you together but it does kind of stop the zip going down fully, which is very, very lovely. If you've ever worn a bikini top or a crop top or any form of top with a zip, it's very nice to know it can't be fully undone because when that happens, the fun's over. Anyway, let's try this on. When I held this up, I thought it looked like the most bold, vibrant bikini and it still kind of does on, 
but because I've got fake tan on, I feel like it really complements my skin tone. Is that just me? Or does it? Because I feel like it looks bright, but it doesn't look out of place. Does that make any sense? I actually really, really quite like it on. I feel like I've said so many great things about all these bikinis, you're gonna think this is an ad. I promise this video is not sponsored. When I like things, it just sounds like I'm trying to sell them um, and that it's an ad, and I promise it's not. I just really like it. The bottoms fit really, really nicely, and then my bum is fully covered, so that's all good. The top fits nicely. The only thing is it's slightly loose around here, but when I'm not touching it, I don't notice it. But then when I adjust it like this, I'm like, oh, it doesn't feel the best quality. But when I'm not touching it, it doesn't feel wrong. Does that make any sense? Also, I do love that it has this little buckle, which means hopefully if I pull this zip down, it will cover here. But look, if I pull this zip down, it gets caught. So I really, really like that feature. It means that there's a little bit more difficulty pulling the zip down and it's not gonna accidentally come down at any point um, without at least getting a little bit trapped first with my buckle, so yeah. Okay, if you've followed me for a little while, you will know two things about me. One, I've done quite a few bikini try-on videos. And two, I have the worst memory known to mankind. I never remember what I've ordered. I never remember basically anything. I feel like this looks like a pattern that I've tried on before. I really do. And I'm nervous that I've ordered the same thing, but I can't be too sure because I don't know anything. Let's look. Okay, I don't remember the last one having green on it. So that's new. This is the bikini. So we have this top. Oh my goodness, that pattern is beautiful. <gasps> okay, I just want my life to look like this. It's just so pretty and I love the green in there. I love the green. Looks like it's uh, like a, ah, uh, like you tie it in the front, but it's like a loop-de-loop -loop thing, like this, with a little tie in it, which could look very, very cute. They do that kind of ruching around the bum, which is apparently very flattering. So they seem to have a natural dip to them as well. I don't have a third hand to point out the dip, but there's a dip, <laughs> if you can see it, in them, which looks like maybe they're kind of high rise around the hips, which could look super cute. I was about to tie this in the front here, which is what I thought was happening, um, but then there is a lot of excess string, string, wrap, I, I don't know what you call this, um, but there's a lot of it. So I just quickly checked online and it seems like you're actually meant to tie this around like this. Wait, but then I can't tie that around a further time. I am not small enough and then it gets tied around the back. I do not think I like how tight that is. Okay, I am not loving how tight this whole thing is, only in order to get it round as many times as she had, um, I've had to make it quite tight, and then I've tied it in the back and there's quite literally barely any string to tie a knot with. So I'm gonna undo it, and we'll see if we can tie this a different way. Maybe if I just did this and then, oh, and then I could tie it around the back. Maybe, does that work? Have I ruined it? Or do you think we could get away with a little tie in front and then tie in back? Because if we can get away with this, then I quite like the bikini. The pants fit pretty nicely. They are covering my bum and then my little tie is at the back and the bikini fits nicely at the back too. And then from the front, I don't hate what I've done with it and I think it fits quite nicely. Sorry, me again. I just checked the image online and she actually has the um, bottoms pulled up quite high. I think it looks maybe slightly better but it feels slightly less comfortable. I also gave up on the little tie, tied it once in the front and then shoved it around the back and it doesn't look too bad, so yeah. Doesn't look fully like my style of pattern, but we will try it. <gasps> oh, it's really, really pretty. <gasps> it's really pretty. Okay, so it is a little swimming cosy. Looks like it's pretty high rise from the height between here and here. Pretty high rise, it has a cutout round the middle with a little hoop connecting top and bottom. And then it's in kind of a Harlequin half and half, but split diamond wise pattern. And it's got pastel blue, which you all know, I bloom in love. And then a kind of animal print, but not really animal print, but it ties in the blue nicely. And then on the back, it is just fully that print. It's really cute. 
and I'm really excited to try it on. So this is the swimming costume on. I don't necessarily dislike it, but I'm not really feeling it. I'm not like, oh yay, this is so cute. But at the same time, I don't hate it. Like I don't dislike it a whole lot. It's just very much, I'm on the fence with this swimming costume, but this is what it looks like on. It does actually fit pretty nicely. It feels pretty nice. I did, when I first put it on, think that this was slightly over twisted because you can actually barely see the ring. Um, but I've looked online, it looks exactly this much twisted online. So that is how it's meant to be. It is pretty high rise, as you can see my nice fake tan lines going on. Um, but yeah, it is comfortable, it does fit nicely, I'm just, I'm not fully in love with it. I'm not too sure. Let me know in the comments what you think. What I will say is the pattern looks nicer on than I thought it was holding up. Holding it up, I was like, mm, not really for me. Now it's on, it's quite cute. I like the pattern, I like the pattern, I like the fit. I'm just not a hundred on the style. So let me know what you think and we'll go on to the next one. Ooh. <gasps> okay, this one has come in a much more heavy duty packaging. It's like, a, sol a more solid plastic as opposed to less solid plastic. It's less malleable. Is that the right word? Probably not. Anyway, has a little zip. Oh, cute. Has a little zip. And then it looks like it might be... <gasps> I ordered myself an all-in-one. I am very happy with this purchase. I tried on one of these before in possibly an eBay bikini video, I'm not too sure. Um, maybe it was a Shein video actually, or Zaffle, who knows. Anyway, the one that I tried on before had short sleeves and then like a general swimming costume bottom. This one has actual legs and I really hope this fits because this would be so cute to go surfing in. So if I hold this back as far as I can, this is what it looks like. It has long sleeves, long legs, it is a deep, bluish purple color but then has patterns on the sleeves and then just a little bit of pattern on the legs and then pink cutout sections throughout it has kind of a kind of a would you say it was a crew neck or a high neck i don't think i'll find out till i try it on and then a zip to let you in and out oh and it also it also has little booby pads too amazing i'm so excited please fit me please fit me Yes, I will take it, I will wear it, I will enjoy it, I will love it. What do we think of my little all-in-one suit? Um, I quite like it. It fits pretty much perfectly. I mean, I don't have any qualms with it. The sleeves are a nice length. It's keeping me very, very, very warm um, right now. I feel like I could be sweating, which would be great if I was in some cold water. Definitely not as thick and warm as an actual wetsuit. However, it is an extra layer to my body. And then I think, slash I'm assuming, the main reason for this might be for surfing and bodyboarding so that you're not scratching up your tummy on the board, but maybe you don't wear a full wetsuit. You just put this on, you look kind of cute. It's definitely a lot cheaper than a wetsuit. I kind of love it. Or maybe if you're just a little bit body conscious, then you could still go to the beach, go in the water and look pretty darn cute. I really like it and wow, that is bright pink. I like this a lot. Okay, we have what looks like a simple black bikini. I am confused. Does this join on to what now? I do not know what's happening. <laughs> um, Right, okay, one second. So we have one booby pad, one booby pad. And what looks like, this goes down the side, wait. This goes down the side and how can this go? I have no idea what's happening here. It's all twisted in all kinds of way. I thought this might go over my neck, but then this is twisted the wrong way. I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to Google this situation. One second. Oh, wow. Um, okay, <laughs> what's happening here? C no, that can't be this bikini. Wait, I'm so confused. Right, wait, okay, so this is going across my front. And... Right, I'm just gonna have to try and try this on because this is all kinds of not gonna fit. So this is the bikini on. Um, it feels like at any second, 
it's going to ping off me and things are going to pop out of places they really shouldn't be popping out of. Um, it doesn't feel right at all. I have followed the instructions online. Um, it does look the same as hers looks. It looks a little better on her of course, but it does look like I've put it on correctly, but it doesn't feel correct. <laughs> it feels very much like I tried my best to put on a swimsuit, didn't know what I was doing, gave up and just wrapped it around myself for good measure, and I feel like it might look that way also. And while maybe you might get a couple of photos out of it, I don't know who is trusting this to go swimming in. I don't know who is thinking, do you know what? I'm going to jump in a pool right now or jump in the ocean and isn't terrified of losing everything. I mean, let me just... You know what? It's pretty secure actually. <laughs> All of that whinging about things are going to fly places. No, 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 no. The booby pad is slipping under my armpit. No, 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 no. I was correct. Things are going places. Things are happening. I'm just going to say it's a no-go. Maybe I'll take a photo in it, but aside from that, we'll not be getting worn in public at any point. Okay. Okay, that is as many bikinis as I'm going to fit into this video. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Love you. Bye.